access does not equal possession we have been given access to the resources that make for the experience of dominion and victory but it does not mean we currently are possessors of those secrets i can give you access to one million naira as a check but you may not be able to transact with that check am i right it is true that the check means there is potential of one million naira that could be credited in your account how many of you have had money credited to your account and you see it on paper it's written there but you can't withdraw it yet sometimes they will say you need to allow for 24 48 72 hours so it is there yet you cannot possess it most believers do not know the difference between access and possession so we claim a lot of things that are true but they never find expression in our lives if you say i am victorious you are right if you say i am the head and not the tail you are right if you say i am anointed of the lord you are right if you say i will live long to fulfill my days you are right but ladies and gentlemen access is not the same as possession many people have access all believers in fact have access through christ but very few people have become possessors walking in the experience of these spiritual realities my assignment here at this conference is to help you by the message of god to move past the gate of just access that your life becomes a living example a possessor are we together now it says the things that we have seen the things that we have heard but then he now says the things that our hands you can lay hold on eternal life it can become your experience it is only at that point you will be called a living epistle so you personify the speakings of god that everything he has said your life becomes a demonstration of it this is why jesus was called the word the logos of god everything god was thinking he captured it in his life are we learning so access does not mean possession access to health is your heritage in christ but whether you will stay healthy in experience is another dynamics access to prosperity and increase is your heritage in christ so says the word of god the bible calls them exceeding great and precious promises they are promises they are not a lie his promises are yea and amen but whether it works in your life if i remain sick today it does not change the fact that there is provision for my health if i remain poor today it doesn't change the fact that in christ there is the possibility for increase and abundance if i reject jesus christ today and go to hell it doesn't negate the fact that jesus said it is finished that his substitutionary sacrifice is a reality in spite of the fact that jesus died already more than two thousand years ago there are men and women who still go to hell because access is there but there is a dynamic that makes salvation your possession <laughs> are we learning every believer in christ has access to the spiritual resources that make for dominion in experience but very few believers are able to enter into the experience by knowing and engaging these resources write this down please walking in the reality of dominion victory and fruitfulness walking in the reality of dominion victory and fruitfulness demands knowing and engaging the spiritual resources available to us walking in the reality of dominion the reality of victory the reality of fruitfulness demands number one knowing number two engaging the spiritual resources that are available to the believer knowing and engaging 
not engaging you cannot engage in ignorance knowing and engaging the spiritual resources available to the believer in Christ are you learning so far walking in the reality of victory dominion and fruitfulness demands knowing and engaging the forces of victory the spiritual resources that are available for us and tonight we are going to take one of those mysteries and that will be the thing that I'm discussing with us tonight but it's important for you to know that anything that is not working in my life is because I have not understood it and I have not understood the dynamics of engaging it let God be true and all men liars if you are not anointed today it is not the bankruptcy of the anointing it is that you have not understood the dynamics of making it your reality the bible says you arise and shine not when your light is available it's always been there but the day it comes to you hallelujah the day it comes to you nobody's life has an advantage by default no by reason of the sin nature by reason of the fallen nature all men spiritually speaking are disadvantaged now physically speaking you may be born in a rich family very educated family enlightened family exposed family all of those things only help sociologically from a spiritual standpoint any man outside Christ is disadvantaged by default among other reasons every spirit has legal access to met out destruction upon your life because the basis of their restraint has not been received by you are we learning now so a man can rise from grass to grace overnight cut seed demonic attacks one of the mysteries that allows for victory is to learn how to enforce judgment upon wicked spirits now please look at me there are many mysteries that are responsible for commanding results favor is a mystery that can be understood and engaged mercy is a mystery that can be understood and engaged are we together yeah prayer giving all of these are kingdom mysteries and every one of them helps the believer to become a more accurate portrait of the image of God anytime these mysteries are not at work in your life there will be deficiency like in nutrition there's something called balanced diet and when you go for a general checkup they can from your blood they can tell what vitamins are missing are we together now you are not dead but you are not maximizing life sometimes you can have pain around your joints and when you get to a doctor he will check everything and say you are lacking vitamin d for instance just because of the absence of one vitamin it can collapse many activities so when you see someone who is healthy his health is a composite of gathering through effective nutrition and perhaps exercises all the nutrients that help him to be a wholesome person am i right on that yes every treatment is an attempt by the doctors to remedy something that should be and is either missing or depleting there are people trained to detect inefficiencies they are called doctors they can look at you and know that something is wrong your white blood cells are weak it is the reason why you have this and they supplement it and then they teach you how to live and stay healthy this is how it is spiritually that means you can look at a believer and upon the strength of spiritual intelligence you can know that favor is missing in this life you can know that this is born again genuinely but the defeat that is in this man's life including a pastor you can diagnose with surgical precision what is wrong with a person's spiritual life the bible says they know not neither will they understand 
they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course he says i have said ye are gods and all of you not some of you not the preachers among you are children of the most high he says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes many believers are victims today and they are being victims is not necessarily because of satan the bible says ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free there are two elements to that statement i'm not teaching on that tonight the second part of it is not your business the truth making you free was designed by god's power it is your knowing the truth and engaging it that is your own business but if it is known and engaged the same way you plant and when you are done planting you are done how it grows is a mystery that only God's power can explain hallelujah so if you are failing in life failing in ministry failing in finances failing in health you are a victim of every cause and every attack every arrow that flies by day lands on you every noisome pestilence lands on you let me tell you that diagnosis you are bankrupt of the requisite spiritual knowledge and it is dangerous to know a little of many spiritual things first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 says and if any man think that he knoweth anything the bible says let that man know that he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know there are many believers who have scattered random spiritual knowledge a little on finances a little on deliverance a little on victory a little on the blood a little on this and we carry that knowledge and it is not synergized to produce victory it's not enough to have truth the truth must be methodically arranged look at your building the reason why you call this a building it's not because there is brick and mortar it's because the builders arranged it in a certain sequence apostle I know something about finances really prove it what do you know and how much do you know I know something about the anointing really what do you know does the devil respect what you know because the Bible tells us the realm of the spirit can disrespect your spiritual level. Jesus I know. Paul I know. He said who are you? There are many who are still being asked that question. Who are you? I'm creating a holy anger in you tonight. That you will cry for light and pant for it. Are we together now that you will step up the bar in the spirit and say i can't be walking at this level again it's, it's important to begin to fly like the eagle there are pastors here with the destiny global prophetic destinies the difference is light not time if you stay in your current version even after 20 years you'll still be there time does not change anything listen the vehicle that transports us to prophecy is called light revelation is the vehicle that stops men from remaining where they are it takes them to where they need to be and the spirit entered me Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 2 and set me upon my feet the spirit entered me You have to be tired of your current spiritual state, dear man of God. Tired of your current prayer life. Tired of your current level of spiritual illumination. With all due respect, you are a servant of God here. Have you maximized the growth, the kingdom influence that God has given you? How about those in business? Is this the most that you can make out of the grace and the investment of the spirit upon your life? The difference is light. The Bible says that was the true light that lighted upon every man, every man, every man. 